Hello and welcome back to another episode of Dental Awareness. When we have pain in the tooth, we tend to think of getting it removed as soon as possible to get relief from the pain. Today we are going to discuss what happens when we remove our tooth. So when a tooth is removed due to whatever reason, be it because of decay, because of some sort of fracture, if it is removed, there is bone loss in the area of the tooth removal. For instance, the lower tooth is removed, the tooth on top tends to try to compensate for the loss of the tooth by coming down. Thus, there will be loosening of the tooth in the top as well. In another instance, the tooth behind the region of the removed tooth tends to compensate for the loss by coming forward then there will be loss of tooth in the back as well so if the teeth from all three sides of the region of the tooth loss tries to compensate for the tooth loss then there will be loosening of teeth in the back in the front and on the top as well thus there will be loosening in one entire area if it is allowed to progress which will continue uh, further by loss of teeth throughout the mouth and that is how you end up in losing teeth and probably forced to wear dentures or implants. So you can compensate for all these errors by one simple way which is going to a dentist and sorting out ways to save a tooth instead of trying to remove it off. It might seem easier to remove it but the best way to avoid further complications is to try and save the tooth so that you can have the remaining teeth in your mouth for a longer time. And in case you have lost a tooth due to some reason Watch out for the next video where we say how you can compensate for the loss of tooth by replacing it. Thank you for watching the video. Please like the video, share it and subscribe to our channel. Thank you again.